Hello guys and welcome to another video. For the next few weeks I have to plan to do uh, yeah, some sort of drum pedal 101, 102, I don't know how to call it. Uh, the thing is that I yeah, pretty frequently get questions asked uh, about what pedal to choose, what to look for at the pedal, what is the difference, what does what and so on. So the plan is to do a few different videos to talk about the physics, the geometry, um, behind drum pedals in general and where and what to look at when you pick a pedal. So the thing is with some background knowledge you can yeah, tell a little bit just by looking at the pedal how it could feel and the more important thing is you know what to change or what to adjust to get to the setup you're looking for um, if you know what's going on behind the pedal. So in this very first part I want to talk about one of the most obvious things, the footboard. Um, let's start with the length, because there are marketing terms out there and nobody knows truly what's going on. The thing is that there are some footboards called longboard, some called shortboard, and there, is, there aren't no true rules for what the definition of a short or longboard is. Um, maybe or how I see it is that a longboard or a shortboard has a moving part and a fixed hinge part or a fixed heel part, let's say where you can rest your heel and which doesn't move. A longboard, um, in difference, has uh, yeah, in total one footboard from the very back to the very front and the whole footboard is moving. The problem here is that this difference has not that much effect on the feeling in general. What has an effect is obviously the length of the footboard. Here's the problem that there are shortboards which have the length of a longboard. For example, the Speed Curver footboard has almost the length of an Axis longboard or of a Trick Bigfoot. So, um, yeah, by definition, it is a shortboard, but truly seen it, it is a longboard. The thing is, um, the longer a footboard is, the lighter the feeling becomes of the, gen of the whole pedal because the leverage changes more to the back. Um, the other thing which does a really, really high impact is not only the length of the footboard, but obviously where it's located or in detail where the leverages are between the footboard over here and where it is attached to the top cam. So the direct drive pedal, it is the distance between this part and this part. Um, on a chain pedal, obviously, it is the same. It's from the basic, um, it is from the bottom part over here to the part where it's connected over here. Um, I'm going to talk about the physics of these two in a separate video. Depending on the distance of this part down here to the top part, the feeling changes from a pretty lightweight feeling to a pretty progressive feeling. So depending on this distance, if it is pretty short, for example, I've just picked the eliminator because it has this power shifter adjustment but the shorter this distance is the more progressive the more heavy the, the feeling of the pedal becomes that's uh, because the beta angle or the footboard has to travel a shorter radius to get the same beta rotation out there obviously for less travel the footboard needs more power in order to get the same movement out there so if I go all the way back to make the leverage longer or lighter the whole Footboard, yeah, stands more to the back or this level where it just increases. That means the pedal feels lighter, but it also needs more travel or it also needs more weight to travel the same distance at the beta. That results in a more lightweight feeling, but also you need to press a little bit deeper into the pedal. Um, the thing here is that obviously with, uh, yeah, with uh, larger leverages, um, not only the travel and the feeling uh, changes, but there's also less force going through the pedal. So the longer this distance is, the weaker the pedal feels or the less impact has the pedal on a drum pad um, compared to this setting. For example, if you have an, an axis longboard with this VDL adjustment where you can yeah, increase uh, the leverages dramatically, you will notice that all the way out the pedal feels pretty lightweight, pretty easy to control, but there's not much power going into the drum head. If you go all the way back with the VDL, the pedal needs lots of force but you, uh, to, to hit it, but you can control it with just a little, little, little um, ray on the footboard. 
Um, and the result, the pedal is harder to control, but you get lots of impact into the drum head. So there is no optimal combination. It's truly a matter of personal preferences. And obviously it also depends on all other adjustment possibilities. Spring tension, the drive uh, you're choosing, a chain drive, a dive drive feels different, the beta, the beta rate, the beta angle, and so on. But the thing I want to focus here is just the footboard length. To sum it up, um, first things first, the longer the footboard is, the lighter that the feeling becomes. It also, a little side effect is it also gives you a little bit more room for your foot to perform. Um, and also the difference between the leverages. The more this pedal sticks to the back, the lighter the pedal, the, the feeling of the pedal becomes, the more it goes to the front. So the whole pedal shifts to the front, the heavier the feeling becomes. Um, I think that's it with yeah, this little part or this little adjustment over here. So it's always worth to just yeah, look at some pictures and also compare some pictures of different pedals um, to see where this leverage is. Because for example, if you take an iron cable, this leverage is pretty steep. The pedal feels yeah, more heavy, more, more natural balanced compared to a speed cable where this leverage is somewhere over here which has a pretty, yeah, dramatical leverage. And the obvious thing is the speed curve feels, yeah, that it needs less power to control, but also there's less impact. And the whole geometry is something you need to get used to. Or let's say there is a reason why the pedal feels lighter or probably faster, which is yeah, something we can discuss about. Um, yeah. I think that being said, I hope this video explained a little bit behind this physics. If you have any questions about the drum pedal geometry or physics in general, feel free to write me an email. As it's being said, there are going to be more parts about various parts of the pedal um, out within the next weeks. I'm also going to write every week um, in my community list update about the topic I'm yeah, doing the video right now. So this week's community list update is also going to be a sum up about footboard combinations, level wedges, length and so on. So definitely stay tuned for that if you're into that. If you want to join the ACD community list, there is a link on the very first page of my homepage. It is some sort of my weekly newsletter where I usually talk about what's going on behind the curtains, but yeah. Obviously within the next weeks I'm going to write a little bit about drum pedals and its physics in general. So that's being said, have a nice day and see you soon. Cheers!